Welcome back everyone for another class of fun and exercise. Today for equipment you're going to need a chair, you're going to need some weights, a mat, and a band. A long band, you can have handles on the end, um, or preferably not the looped band, but so we'll make it work if that's all you have. Remember, if any time that you come across you don't have any piece of equipment, please let me know as I do have a lot of these that we're um, giving out so that you can complete the class properly. Remember, your form is most important that you um, complete the exercise with the proper equipment before you try and modify and actually hurt yourself. I've got four circuits for you today with three to four exercises within each circuit. The way it's going to be done today is you're going to do five reps, then you're going to hold in an isometric position for five slow seconds, finishing off with five more reps of the exercise. So that's for set number one. When you repeat the exercises, you're going to bump them up to ten. So ten reps, holding it for ten seconds, finishing off with ten reps. So let's get started. Our first one is going to be sumo squats. Grab your weights. Sumo means legs are wide apart, toes are pointed out. Keep your weights close in hand there. And you're going to go down for five. One, two, three, four, five. Now on this one here, you're going to hold for one, two, three, four, five. And down for one, two, three, four, and five. Good. Our next one is toe raises. So again, feet shoulder width apart, same weights in your hand. You're going up for five, two, three, four, five. On the sixth one, you're going to hold. Keep the core tight. Keep your balance there. You're going to count very slowly till five. And right into five more reps. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. The next one we're going to do is called a Russian lunge. I'm going to do it from a sideways view here, so you can see what's happening with my knee. You're going to put your back foot on the chair. Pop this one out. Weights are in your hand. You're going to go down, bending both of the knees. One, two, chest is staying up. Three, four, five. Now you're going to hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Up for one, two, burn, three, four, and five. Shake her up and do it on the other leg. That completes your first time around of circuit A. You're going to start at the top again with your sumo squats, but you're doing 10 and holding it for 10 nice slow seconds, finishing with 10 reps again. You go through those three again, and then we'll set up for your circuit B. Okay, circuit B has four exercises in it. We're going to start with some front raises. So again, the first time through, five of everything. And then the second time through, 10 of everything. So we're going to do some front raises. So grab your weights, feet shoulder width apart, breathe out as you lift them up, breathe in as you lower them. So you're going to go up for five. Five, four, three, two, one. And you're going to hold for one, two, three, four, five, lower slowly, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Next one is upright row. You can use your weights if you want, or you can use a band. I'm going to show it, demonstrate it with a band here. You're going to step on the band with one or both feet, hands are going to come together, gripping both the handles at one time, and you're going to keep your shoulders back and down, and you're going to lead with the elbows. One, two, 
three, four, five. On the sixth one, you're going to hold for one, two, three, four, five. Lower it slowly. Five more reps. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent. Okay, down to the ground we go. We're going to go to push-ups. So your choice when you're holding for the five seconds is either going to be in plank after you've done a push-up or you're going to be in a low push-up for five seconds. It's your choice, but you're going to start with five push-ups, hold it, complete five more at the end. So, hands and feet shoulder width apart or mat width apart. You're going one, two, three, four, five. You can hold down here for five seconds or you can hold it in plank. After five seconds is up, complete five more. One, two, three, four, five. Good, that's a tough one. Good job. Now, crop up down again. We're gonna go to our seated row. So, put it under the arches of your feet. Sitting up nice and tall on your sit bones there. You're either gonna grab the band here or by the handles, depending on how much give you've got. I want tension because I want to take my shoulder blades back. So I don't have a lot of tension there, so I'm going to grab further down to make it a little bit more challenging. You're going to roll the shoulders back and squeeze that shoulder blade together. So you're going to go one, two, you want to take that elbow back as far as you can get, three, four, five. Now you're going to hold it for one, two, three, four, five. Finish off with five. One, squeeze. Two, three, four, five. Good, so that's your first step. You're gonna go through all those exercises again, but upping it to 10. Okay guys, we're halfway through it. Circuit C, you're gonna be doing bridge lifts. So you either need your chair or your couch. A band is around your knees. I've tied this one in a bow here so that I'm not going to try and get a knot out here. You're going to put your feet up, bring your body and your bum close to it. You're going to do five reps of lifting and squeezing those butt muscles and your core together to lift up. So five, four. I'm just hovering. I'm not coming right down to the ground each time. Two, one. This time we're gonna hold up for five. Squeeze, four, three, two, one. Down you come. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so flipping over, we're gonna do fire hydrants. You're gonna keep the band around above your knees. Oh, you got hands are below your shoulders, knees are below your hips. So you're going to do five on each leg, holding it for five, finishing off with five, and then you switch the legs. So, up slowly, down slowly. This is three, four, five, and hold. Remember to breathe. Keep the core nice and tight. Don't let it sag. Three, two, one, lower it slowly, five, four, three, two, one, and switch your legs. Please remember with the band on your knees, it's very tempting just to let it snap back down. You do have to protect your joints when working with bands, okay? So make sure you're really controlling that lower movement as you do with the lifting one. Okay, for our last exercise, we're going to do supermats. So I've moved the band down towards my ankles. Okay, I've flipped over onto my tummy. I'm going to have my hands out anywhere that are comfortable for that upper body. Remember, you're trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together. So for me, my arms out here today is good. You're going to take your legs wide apart, and you're going to go. 
five, lift and lower. Small movement, four, three, two, squeeze, one, and now we hold for five slow seconds. Keep breathing, and lower, and up for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. So now, back up to the top again with our bridge lifts. You're doing 10 of everything. 10 reps, holding it for 10 long, slow seconds, finishing off with 10 reps again. Okay, try that one more time, guys. We've got one more circuit to go. Okay, guys, we have our last circuit to do. There's three exercises in it. You're going to grab a weight for the first one. They're all core exercises, so you'll be down on the mats for these guys. A C-sit with a twist. So you're going to do feet up. If you can, you can keep them down if you want. You're going to lean yourself back. You're going to have five twists to each side. Two, two, jerk, 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 four, five, and you're going to hold for five seconds. Keep breathing. Don't arch your back. Keep that chin tucked down. And five, five, four, three, two, two, one, one. Good, lower those legs. Excellent. Moving on to side plank. We have hip drops. We have to do both sides, so we'll start with your best side. Okay, you're going to go up on plank either on your knees or your toes. So I'm going to pick my toes to start us off here. You're going to go up. You're going to have this arm up for balance. You're going to hip drop. One, two, three, four, five, and you're going to hold up for five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and down we go again. Five, four, three, two, one, and you're done that side. Flip over, do the other side. Our very last one is plank with a slight lift on opposite arm and opposite leg. So, feet are wide apart for balance, hands are fairly wide for balance, okay? So you're going to be lifting, let's say go right arm, left leg. So be right over those hands there, you're gonna go. One, touch down. Two, same arm, same leg. Three, four, five. Now your choice is you can hold in plank, or you can hold it out for five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Down you go. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Okay, now you're gonna repeat those three exercises again with 10 of each. Remember to count your seconds slowly, don't rush it. And then you're done. So hopefully you enjoyed that kind of mix up of isometric exercises with some reps thrown in there. Please go into some nice stretching and that completes our workout for this week. Hopefully next week we'll see you outside for a few classes. Bye guys.